They tried to tell us that Kai Soto was not good enough for the Summer League. He doesn't have what it takes. Well, Soto did finally get playing time after three straight DMPs due to coach's decision. In under 14 minutes of action, Soto had six points, four rebounds, an assist, and three block shots. Soto honestly dominated this game. If you look at the opposition, they were super comfortable prior to when Soto was not on the court. But when he's out there and he's seven foot three, you know he can block shots, you know he can impact shots. I mean, I know I'm a huge Kai Soto fan. I know I might be, bi might be, I am biased, and I know I might blow this out of proportion, but Soto did exactly what I wanted him to. He impressed. He showed that he belonged, and he dominated. I don't care what anyone says. When you have three block shots in under 14 minutes of action, you are dominating that game. You are controlling it. And there were some plays that don't show up in the box, box score, right? Like screens, of course, like plays such as just impacting shots, right? That just intimidator badge for those of you that play NBA 2K. I liked how Soto was taking jump shots as well, right? He ended up taking two of them. I mean, the funniest thing is, this is completely off topic, but I went to use the restroom and then I came back and I saw Soto on the court and he took a jump shot and he missed it, but then he bounced back with a second one. That dunk that Soto had as well, just being in the right position, he ended up missing that alley-oop dunk, which man, would the crowd have gone crazy. But this is the beauty of Summer League, right? Is that the magic completely got blown out in this game. I mean, the final score was 88 to 71. It was a 17 point game. It felt like a 27 point game for those of you that watched the entire thing. It was just a massacre. But in the second half, the magic played well. They made it interesting, right? I mean, they were never going to come back and win it. But in the second half, the Magic had some very good runs. And I would like to see more Soto moving forward. The Magic just don't have an opportunity for Soto in terms of the NBA, but they can put him on a two-way, which means they can put him down in the G League. And let's say that for some reason, a Magic player, unfortunately, were to get hurt or something and they just need some depth, they can call up Soto. That is definitely an option. Honestly, the Magic, they have a lot of young talent, and it would be awesome in a sense to see Soto play with them, like Anthony Black, Jet Howard, Franz Wagner, Paolo Bancaro, and Markel Foles. Like, there's so many good young players in the Magic team. They just brought back two of their big men from last season, right? They also cut Bulbul, who's 7 2 and was pretty damn good for them. So, I don't think the Magic's a long term option for Soto, but. Shout out to the coaching staff for following through with their word. They promised to play Kai Soto in this game, and they gave him just under 14 minutes. To be exact, they gave Soto 13 minutes and 23 seconds, which is all we ask for. And the box score says Soto finished 3 of 7 from the field. He ended up having two offensive rebounds, two defensive rebounds, one assist, of course, those three blocks, two turnovers, and Soto did commit one foul. It's only a minus 10, not bad at all, considering that the Magic did lose by 17 points. And when Soto did check in, it just, it was honestly like the worst time to check in. The Blazers were just running it up and running it up. And eventually Soto did settle down. And the Magic, late in this game, you know, third, fourth quarter, honestly, were the better team, but it just didn't matter because they were down big at halftime. But the next game, I have no clue. I mean, the Magic so far, I played four games. I'm pretty sure every team plays five. I believe that's going to be to be determined. We have no word yet if Soto is going to get run, but I'd find it just very difficult to believe that Soto would not play next game. For one, he looked great tonight. Two, I mean, the amount of buzz that I can promise you that the Magic will generate more buzz than the Blazers. I mean, Kai Soto played minutes. He looked good in them. And even ball is life has been sharing Kai Soto videos. Of course, a lot of the media doesn't really believe in Soto, but they just know his popularity, so they're gonna milk it out. I mean, ESPN had some replays going, of course, but I just, I'm happy right now, man. Yesterday, I ended up recording a video and I was just, I was so frustrated. It was the first time covering Soto where I was actually agitated. I mean, yeah, some things didn't go our way, but yesterday just was BS, right? I'm, I'm not trying to swear or anything, but yesterday was straight BS. You know, Kai Soto, we were told that there was a good chance he'd play against the Knicks, who were just, I'm a Knicks fan, so I gotta be careful what I say here, but the Knicks are just obviously not the, the greatest summer league team. I mean, they had to have a good regular season team, but their summer league team was one of the worst in the league, and 
yeah, the, the Knicks won in overtime. We didn't see Kai Soto for a single second in this game. I was impressed and I was also very pleased with the coaching staff and with the bench and just the players out there. I mean, you can tell that Kai is making an impact on them. They, they're rooting for him and every time he scored, they were up off the bench, jumping up and down. I saw a Jet Howard and you can see just how excited not we can't see right now because this is obviously some some soda clips before the summer league but jet howard was jumping up and down and i'm gonna say it right now and i'm gonna end the video and let you guys go kai soto if he continues to develop and get stronger and just more physical because we know soda's bloodline right it's, he comes from a family of athletes he has what it takes he's just 21 seven foot three he's a huge guy he's only going to keep growing keep getting bigger but in the next two to three years Kai Soto, we could be talking about him as a special player. There's no doubt in my mind that Soto at minimum is going to be a very good role player. For who is the question? Maybe Miami Heat, Los Angeles Lakers. Dallas would have been such a good team, but they drafted lively. But Kai Soto, if he falls into the right hand, a Phil Handy and Eric Spolstra, right? He could be easily a starting center in the NBA. But at minimum, wherever he falls, he's going to get run. He's going to put up stats. I mean, Kai Soto is per 36. If you guys don't know what that means. So basically, let's say Kai, for example, plays 13 minutes. We put that into as if he played 36 minutes and you would start to see some mind boggling numbers. Now, Kai Soto is not going to play 36 minutes very often. I mean, not that he can't, right? I mean, you know, Victor Wembayama is about the same size. Chet Holmgren's a little bit smaller. Like These guys are going to be playing a ton of minutes, but I just think it's in Kai's best interest. And you guys might disagree, that's fine. But I feel like Soto, just in that 15 to 20 minute margin as a role player on a championship level team, would be absolutely perfect. Because Soto, he proved in this game that he's not afraid to shoot the basketball. He's not afraid to go up and contest shots. I mean, I remember Jalen Green absolutely putting Kai Soto on a poster. But Soto, just to have the confidence to jump up with Jalen Green, just it tells you all you need to know. And Soto, he definitely has the potential. But I think his floor is very safe as well, just because of his instincts and his IQ, his intelligence. He just always knows where to be. But I will say Soto could have been much more aggressive in this game. I understand that he wanted the game to come to him. He didn't want to do too much, which is completely understandable. The last thing we need is Soto committing silly fouls. But there was a couple of plays where I had wished Soto had attacked the offensive glass more. I mean, he did come up with two of them, don't get me wrong here. But I just hope that the next game, the Magic say just to Kai, just to go out there and just to, to do your thing right go out there and put on a show because soto we know what he can do i mean he can put up double doubles he can block shots and he has a very smooth release i mean i remember talking to a couple of i don't want to say kai soto haters but a couple of doubters and they said that soto's jumper was overrated it looks smooth in this game it's just impossible to block i mean i don't know how many times you guys have seen kai soto be blocked shooting a jump shot you might not ever have seen that let me know down below i'd love to know it I mean, Soto, that floater that he had, it ends up missing. I mean, Soto has a, he has, I, I gotta be careful what I say. I was about to say he has a package, but pause, bro. I was about to say, you know, he's got that game going. So that's even more so. 